guys, and we play here, and welcome to some, hold up, some, you know, wait for it. Dango and Ropa. Yo, what up guys, and we play, welcome to some Dango and Ropa. Okay, it's straight, uh, you know what this is, I never played Dango and Ropa. Oh, uh, welcome to some trigger hap to some dangling robot trigger happy heavy arc. Think I seen the anime, but never played the game. Wait. All right, new game. English. Kind action kind. Yeah, there's a decision making this game. Dangan Robot. I know Berlizzi and Jazz the Guns are playing this. Oh, what's his name again? I forgot. The teddy bear thing. Oh shit. Look at these cutscenes. So detailed. Dun, 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 dun. Start. Damn. Look at that boy's face. Last off. Dang it, no bother. My new album's coming out soon, guys. It's gonna be called Sea Money King. Or Cash Money King. Yeah, I think his name was Marakuma, something like that. Trigger Happy Havoc. Dakronompa. The massive high school towers all over all the other buildings of this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy, it brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government funded school of privilege. Then they say that if you come here and graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it stands over cream of the crop into workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Peaks a pretty fitting name. True. There are two things you need to attend. You need to attend school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there are the gates of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate s students. Filled with the ultimate students. Stop the noise, guys. Was me. Before we go any farther, Makoto. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Naegi, what the hell name is that? As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopeless average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to great special bit, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like that I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they, they'd all just be whatever is most popular at that p particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's, it's, it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong points, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. But still, here I am standing in front of the, of the anything but ordinary host for the academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I'll get this overwhelming presence like it's trying to swallow me whole. 
Uh, I don't think I'm sick, guys. My throat's been hurting. It's probably not a good idea, but whatever. But it's no wonder I would feel th that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last time to get ready for today. Hold Peak Academy. Name anonymous. Hold Peak is only by those students who are truly in the field. 820 Friday. Come on, keep it coming. Name anonymous. Pray my friend knows them get everything state of the art. Name anonymous. 822. Oh, 2010. Use Ultra and says it's going to be there. The Ultimate Baseball Pro is going to be eight there. So it's only for winners. Such a pop top that there are threads online that can talk about the school's attendees. Such a bear looked up some of those threads and all I said was talking about the ultimate student who were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one group is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for pop group famous all over the country. I remember this girl from the anime. This is also the ultimate baseball store. He was a cleaner hero for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Okay, I think her name was Junko. Yeah, I think I remember her. It's the ultimate fashion stuff. The crazy girl. Or the girl that looks like Harley Quinn. The girl that, yeah, Junko. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every school student wants. She's what every high school student wants to be. Oh, and they named the ultimate biker game leader too. Yeah, this is the guy that looks like what's his name? My Barra? No, 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 no. The guy in Yu Yu Hakusho. The other guy. Not Yusuke, but I forgot his name. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker game in Japan. Kids everywhere love that guy. Travis looking for one. How can anyone get it? Anyone can't. And tell that there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fan creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clever, and, and then some. Reading that some. That reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wanted to enter pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students where I couldn't find any info on. No matter how much I looked, with all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me without any talent or, or anything? The thought was kind of encouraging me. I know I don't have much in the, in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to, to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Oh, so you did get one. We recently had a lot of just like one ordinary student to attend our school. As a, as a result, you have been been selected. We invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> they spelled it out plain as they got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was the guarantee for this act later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter and clutched in my hand. I said there'd be a meeting for I said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still in for a little while, but she probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. Bro, that's a lot of talking. <laughs> a lot of dialogue in this game. I mean, Persona has a lot of dialogue, but true. Shit. 
This is where we're supposed to be, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock. Oh, there's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's, it's 7, 10 a.m. The I mean, does not start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense that Miles will be here, yeah. I was so worn up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time for the meeting. Just staying around waiting is exactly. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that will help me calm down though. I am a student here now. So there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around. Right? It will help me kill some time. If nothing else. I'm trying to play cool. I took my first step into Hope Speak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. What the hell? What the? Honey? But the instant I took this, the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melted away and mixing together into something else. Spinning makes it melt away, then spinning again in the next moment. Everything went black. That's how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. Yeah, if I didn't watch the anime, I wouldn't have knew this. The reason I, I was brought to Holy Spirit Camp was because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Is that what it's called? The despair arc or something? Welcome to despair. It's despair High School. Do you want to save the game data? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? The hell? Mm -hmm. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zone off in the middle of some boring class or wherever, but what was, what was I doing asleep here just now? This is a class we've never been in before. What the heck is going on? Now, welcome to Hope's Peter Cat. First, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Use less to adjust your aim. If you aim and on, you can interact with your press the so X button. And press so you'll investigate that object. Use the right shift button or that one button to adjust your viewpoint. Why do you try looking around the classroom? Just do with other buttons too. Yeah, I can't believe it's already eight o'clock. It was just at seven when I first got here. It's really been, been, been almost an hour since then. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have those to keep weirdos from just wandering in. What the heck? They know I'm a classroom that's work. That's where your window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over. And if I were to knock on it, bang bang, yep, definitely man. Thick, to very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there a metal plate over the window? That's fell asleep, I can still see it lying too. I must have left there. I have to clean that up later. Hey, hey what's that on the desk? That new kid. Nor did you get it. The next uh, star from the day, this will be your tower. She got it. some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. Next semester is about to start. So, such a school being the entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? So, let's see so what might have happened. Is I got myself so warm to I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's you, it must mean this is a, this is a class which I hope speak. Yeah, no doubt. But then, if that's true, then strange more quite that this are really strange. I mean, those metal plates come in the windows. It's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already pa past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. At least it's kind of person to circle by that. Uh, Do 
watch the TV the school sound by the national government so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here something feels off I wonder what it is leave the area yeah see this house is kind of weird too it's getting stranger by the second I honestly have no idea what's going on but for now I just head to the main hall so that's two three two three you can press on them to bring up a map. Press on them again to go on map. How convenient. Uh, more than the door room, but. 1A. Huh? Like, like my heroes. 1A bus. Yeah, watch one. Yeah, watch my hero. Everyone does so. Uh, I think I might have COVID. I hope not. My throat's been hurting. And I feel chilly. I have a huge head. But I was stressed yesterday too. So that might be it. I wonder what the word. Dorley, I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Oh, okay, that's not cool as well. The band thing. Apron room, it's locked. Look at that. This is a cool store, I guess it's not open. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but... I wonder if this is everyone. Time for me, we're the ultimate students. That had been handpicked by the school. I looked around everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel kind of aura coming from each of them. Uh, how's it going? My name is Makaro Miji. So I'm, I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Mm -hmm. Whoa, you too? Mm. They just keep being. Curious and curious, sir. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is a strange situation indeed. Uh, what are you talking about? I honestly, have no idea what's going on Got here. It. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. But Carlo, your charging is this unacceptable. Surely you were where the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To to be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over That's it. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we, don't we all go around and introduce huh? ourselves? The hell? Now's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we are all are for digging into bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's things? Yeah. That's a good point. Um. Okay, so let's just... Get introductions out of the way, then we can move on to whatever else sounds good. I'm told I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on the host peak camera thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Also, I talked to those five over there. Each conversation point is all about stories, so keep track of how they go. Alright. Right. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. This guy's loud. Kyoto Ishimaru, complete world compass. So that's Kyoto, according to what I saw about him on the other. He went to a famous private school, one Tawa.
top honors of you. He's back to a flawless honors to you. So known for the work he's done with the community, public morals committee. The same respect to the rule of all on you him to tell which man moral compass. And when you can call me Taka, you say your name was Makoto Naiji, right? <laughs> such a good name and strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent You hear me? Name. And to keep that name from losing the battle, you must devote yourself every Got single it. day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? Like, this guy is kind of annoying. Got it! Okay, alright, we're on a bit. Let's go to goes crazy. Toko Pikawa. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Uh, ultimate writing problem. Uh, that's just ultimate shy or something. Yes, yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking once. Her literary career. And two years ago, she released so many the ocean, he loves to ocean to be her masterpiece. The book was such a human woman, the fisherman, equipment shop to the top of every hottest temple. By her age, she won countless so, literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. That's why she's come to be known as the ultimate briny prodigy. prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I fear she be a, a lovely dovey type, and what's with her? And what, and what with her mask being romance and all. What's what, your problem? What? It's not polite to stare at you now. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature, don't just stop. I know what you just thought. Just thought you never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking about. I'm telling don't bother you. trying to lie, lie to me. I know it's true, otherwise. I know you can't stay and look anyway. at Anyway! However, I don't care, I'm used to it. But I told her I didn't fear the combat was a way... I was a way off the way success often will be like. <laughs> How cool it was with this huge metal hatch. Looks like some kind of thing you see in the secret military base. So. This is the same main hall was not for so therefore it's a good floor though. Sayaka Maizono. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Just that idol girl thing. Yeah, that was showing them. Um in the cutscene. Yeah, with the pop star. The way she moves is positive and it must make that pleasant scent. I can't quite place. Sakaya Maizono. What when I saw her name in that thread on my friendly, I was pretty surprised. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the cutscene we saw. That's her. She's in a pop group, famous all across the country. In fact, she's the lead singer. She's the lead singer. That's, yeah, I think I remember her from anime. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines and in everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she's going to this school. I'm surprised she doesn't remember, but. Well, never mind, no matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know, I'm alive. Huh, oh, did you hear me? I'm psychic. Huh? Okay, I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp hey, one. Um, huh, hey, by any chance. Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be, I'm sure of it. Hey, Makalo did. Just hold on! Uh, uh, yeah, I think they might have known each other, like, before or something. I think I, I remember that somewhat from the anime or something. Geez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our family time with with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um, Sorry, just got wait, just got carried away. I you guess. hear me? self intrude doctors off for introducing yourself. No mumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. Um, You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We'll talk about this later. Sounds like Saito really has something to want to say. It's not like we'll never see each other again. Like you said, we can talk later. <laughs> Sorry, Mako, can you pick this up? Wait, okay, so I'm on. I don't This guy looks like the guy from My Hero, Mishinina, yeah. The, uh, the, Yo, the, guy that the can name's turn Leon Kawada. What's pause. up? The name's Leon Kawada. What's up? Leon, oh, he's a baseball guy. Leon Kawada. I recognize that name. 
Alieta Step to play for the National High School Champs as a team of the ultimate baseball star in that super athletic Spice Man is. You seriously? I was wrong. But then this surprise I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Whoa, whoa, were you playing some some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head. No, I was just expect to be more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like make mega embarrassed right now. I I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like this is part of your national championship regulation. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. Now I'm not gonna dye it back to normal. Hey, either. listen. Actually, can I be totally honest you know. with you? I don't like baseball like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's not practicing and he was still his team's star player, some kind of project. Prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I get get got accepted here, I quit baseball and for, for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future. My only path in life is getting into music. You can't feel that star quality or I have, you know right? What I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a song where is someone off the talk. Uh, and we're all How cool is that? The new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe when I'm here. I have I never imagined I'd hear something like that from my baseball all, all star. How cool is that? I am Hifumi Yamada. Huh. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't know. By the way, by the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Says the voice funny. World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fan creator. Mm -hmm. I sold, I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival the fan has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I, I tainted it. The event, how stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the, the world of such ages mean nothing to me. I mean, like, mango, or totally unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, Jer, serving right in danger, store all minus pre preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naigi. You will comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basis urges. I don't think I want to comprehend. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Sorry. Almost, yeah, almost kept the voice. Okay, now I talk to those five people over there. Uh, oh. oh. That's the right camera. This is what looks like a gun attached to it. This is the way that's a real gun, right? Oh, maybe. Who knows? Slot hey, talking. Yeah. I'm hey. Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Hey, Hinata? Oh, it's a very sweet, sweet girl. So maybe I smell like, like, water. Right? I smell like a pool or something. I hear she much. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an ultimate Olympic candidate. She's without doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportion have been have been widely discussed online. Mm. Uh, what what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. M Makoto Niji. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not your mansion song like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, 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 got it. Here, I hammer it into my brain right yeah. now. Yeah! Makoto Niji, Makoto Niji. She just kept her name, moving her finger across the floor, but she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know. 
You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write in your head in three times. I've never heard of that before in my mm. life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? Spells it. You know, that's how you spell it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, nice. Mm. Um, <laughs> well, I have no idea how I figure it out later right okay. now. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. It's short, same here. But one thing I learned is she's totally easy going first two with energy. Okay. Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Ultimate Programmer, Chiro Fujisaki. Mm. Sorry, sorry, I got, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> Anyways, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? I don't think so, we just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice uh, to meet you. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point, sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. She, she hero Fujisaki is known for the cutting edge program. She's crazy. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got the Timmy Little Bunny type thing going, which has endured her to a legion of fans. Um. Hey, so uh, listen. I'm so I'm really sorry. I'm worried for um, you now. You are just consumed. So you must be mad at me, right? Don't know. I always just lost some thought about uh -huh. something. Awesome thought. Yeah, I had nothing to do with me being I'm sorry. Thank you. That feels afraid when you didn't like me. <laughs> huh, I'm glad. Mm, I'm starting to understand why our fans are so into it. <laughs> For some I get so sense. Well, that's just the one. <laughs> so. I thought it sounded so of all her fans. I mean, this girl's a mystery. I remember her. Hmm. Um, can I ask your name? My <laughs> name is Kyoko Kyrgyz. Ultimate, what? Question mark. I know nothing about her. Hmm. She's pretty chat lip tongue. Oh, but you know, her name can show anyone that he books the Academy thread. I. I see that there were students like me. Hurry up. I didn't want to see that there were students like me. Once we didn't have any real identity or presence. This girl be one of them. So what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of worker or something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That mm. doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell <sighs> me. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is an Iron Man. She do if she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. 